Hey everybody, welcome to this video. So today we are going to take photos with an iPod Touch which I found in my room and I thought why not take photos with an iPod Touch to showcase that camera and equipment is not always what you need to take good photos. So first I started off by going out and looking for some interesting shapes because when you don't have the best camera equipment you sometimes need to focus more on the actual image than the quality of the image. So starting off with taking photos with this iPod Touch I realized that it, the battery is pretty old and I had to use a power bank, which means I had a cable hanging out of my pocket, which can be kind of irritating when trying different positions and perspectives, but it is still possible and I still think it was fun. So I started to find this spot and I was really satisfied, to be honest, with the result and the iPod touch look also kind of give me wipes of an usual Instagram filter which nowadays imitates those old school digital wipes so I'm actually pretty happy with the results. This is where I stopped my tour today and let's talk some results let's see some photos and dive into the pictures I took today. So the first picture is this one from this house and I kind of like it, it's pretty natural and if you watch closer you can see the noise from the iPod touch in the sky which gives you yeah, this very kind of old digital look and I really like it personally. I also took this photo in this spot here where I got more on the road and you can see that there is coming some sunlight into the iPod touch which probably makes it have this kind of greenish and more yellow orange tilt and I kind of like it but I think I would prefer the other one because the other one is more natural and I kind of like that in the in the iPod touch but I think they are both pretty okay shots. So next up is this photo and I really like it just the shadow and the window and this entire construction and the lines with the blue pretty dark blue sky I just really love the combination in this photo and it's my personal favorite of today. Next on are two pictures which are pretty similar and I think I like the right one the most and they have turned out pretty cool but they are not my favorites. Next on is this one photo here where you have like this depth and the person walking and I don't really like the colors in it, it's too harsh and too bright in my eyes. But I think somehow the framing is pretty cool and this spot and the photo ha have some kind of potential. The last photo I want to show you is from this wall where I really liked the details of this shadow and the blue sky in combination with the sunlight hitting a wall. And I think it's a pretty okay and decent photo but still not hitting my favorite of the window from earlier. I hope you liked this video, let me know what favorite photo you have from this series and let's see you in the next video.